Well, hi there, everyone. This is Scott Nicholson, and it's the end of uh, day one, the Summits and Tutorials Day here at GDC. As I said, I was going to keep up with you about what's going on. i got to keep up with the line right now that I'm in. And so during this day, I chose to attend the Game IT Summit, uh, Game Information Technology Summit. Uh, this was a series of talks throughout the day about different uses of uh, technology to allow people to play in organizations and in connected ways. It really grew out of a gamification uh, uh, talks from years past, and so a lot of the things that I went to were sessions on using games for more serious uh, means, not necessarily for recreation. Now, as I mentioned uh, yesterday, that I was going to focus kind of on what it was like being a board gamer here. Well, today really didn't have anything about board gaming. Uh, but today was connecting much more into my world in meaningful gamification. I saw a number of talks. Uh, some of the organizations were good about how they were using games, and some were pretty awful, actually. And so a number of cases on both the good side and the bad side. Um, I think one of the more interesting things, uh, Ian Bogost, who did the, has done some critical talks about gamification, put forth a news game that he's created that allows you to quickly make very simple um, arcade-style games about uh, news items. So what you do is you enter things like uh, you know, a person and another person, or a person and a place and a verb between them, and it makes a little game. That's a game matic It's going to be coming out this summer for you to try. I think it's going to be interesting to explore. Uh, Jane McGonagall talked about her upcoming thing, Super Better, and the idea of Super Better is that you engage in health and resilience-related tasks in order to add time to your life. She took us through a series of exercises that she said would add seven and a half minutes to our life. So there you go. I spent an hour sitting in a session to get another seven and a half minutes. Yay! Um, during lunch, I actually went over and joined the dark side and went to a talk by the Game Show Network people on how they are optimizing their social networks to make more money. So it was interesting to watch uh, engineers and designers really approach the uh, scientific method, use the scientific method, uh, do experimentation to find out how to tweak their systems, to tweak their interfaces, to make more and more cash. Um, so that was my, uh, my flitter with the dark side, and it was interesting to hear them talk about things. And, but I think about how we could take those same elements and bring them into teaching, how to get people more engaged with what's going on. Because they're really looking at how to change a game bit by bit in order to get greater engagement. And I think that kind of approach, even this is something that could connect into board game design, you know, that kind of approach of these incremental changes, incremental testing, um, is, is something that could be important. Rather than just play testing the same thing again and again, you know, try slight different versions of it. Now, I'm in line right now for a uh, showing of the indie games uh, movie that's going to be happening next, and so and a panel as well. That should be interesting. Um, so that's bringing us to the end of the first day. Now, tomorrow I've decided I'm going to spend my day in a tutorial day on level design. So it's another video game level design. But I'm hoping I'll be able to draw some things on there for, for board game um, aspects. Because one of the things I've thought about board games is to have a game where you had more of a level concept and things changed from level to level. And as you played the game, the game itself shifted. And so you do some things and then in a new era or a new age, rather than just, you know, the rinse and repeat, repeat structure that we have in most of our board games, what if you did something very, very different in the second part that was based upon how successful you were at the first part? So, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to head and see the movie tonight and I will keep you informed on what goes on with me here at GDC. But I will say what I got out of today that's most beneficial is how games are going to be used in the iSchools. Since the iSchools focus on information, this is going to be an interesting connection between games and information and how people can be connected through games using information technology. So, that's enough of that. I'll talk to you all later. Oh, if you want to keep up with this, if you're on Twitter, check the, the Twitter tag uh, GDC. A lot of people tweeting on there and talking about what's going on. Until tomorrow, I'll talk to you all later. And Bye-bye.